Yes, yeah, so more stuff about Dawn. Said he has a, a Quaker parrot named Bella. Uh, haven't heard of Quaker parrots before, but that's cool. And he has been in one TTT tournament. Is that one before this one? Has yep. he, he's been in the previous one? Yep, I think it was in the I think it was in the spring open and got got a fourth place in the spring open. I can't remember if it's oh, a okay. spring open or last year. I gotta look back at my notes. But he got he got all the way to fourth place, got into those top that top four bracket, won a prize. So Good. He's a he's Good. he's a player. He's in it. He's in it to win it. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So he'll probably never use con his other fun fact is he'll never use contour selection again. That's right. That's another fun fact. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is a model that I'm really excited for these runners to try. This is a pretty cool model, a brand new one that I made just for this tournament. And, uh, you know, some of these models I, I dream about. Um, and this is definitely one that I was really happy with how it came out. So let's get into it here. Uh, TJ Prokes in the chat it wants to know if Dom is forklift certified. So maybe after this match, he can tell us. Uh, guys, put a one in the chat if you think Dom is forklift certified. And we are going to get into it here with this next matchup. Here we go. This next matchup between Brazil and the United States Inventor vs. SolidWorks begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in XXXX grams? Tolerance is plus or minus five grams. Pretty loose tolerance there. And this part is called anchor ring. It's in plain carbon steel, it's in millimeters, and both of our runners have grabbed a screen capture, so let's jump into the action. Man, a model like this, like any model, you gotta ask yourself, what's my starting plane? What's my starting profile? I think usually it's a pretty safe bet to kind of start out by looking looking down from the top and using the footprint of the model, but in, a, in some models, it's not quite as clear. We'll see what our runners end up doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it. Andre like in the chat it. says, I love Tauruses, or is it Tauri? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> wow. We got Inventor on the left, Pedro Tavares. Really got a lot of geometry on the screen quickly there. We got SolidWorks on the right. Interesting Dom using a contour selection here to let's see what he's doing. Yeah, that's something that... I'm really glad I don't have a new version of SolidWorks because I really do not like how it auto remembers your end condition. That just oh yeah, that's 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 bad. <laughs> yeah, that was a disappointment for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna really interrupt people's workflow. Yeah. All right, so here we go. So this is interesting. He's gonna try and fill it off that gap. Uh, talking about Dom here on the right. Oh, going in with sketch geometry to fill it off that gap. Okay, I like this. Change your mind. Yeah, yep. Yeah, changed his mind and was was uh, comfortable enough in the software to get back in there and do it like that. Not sure if he selected the icon there or if he's got some kind of keyboard shortcut to assign tangency, but uh, mm -hmm. that tangency got on there pretty quick and then mirrored it really quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always feel like uh, I, I love I love keyboard shortcuts and I've got tons of them, but I know that when you're doing a presentation or teaching and showing people, uh, they can get lost. I'm like, what'd you do? What'd you do? Where'd you go? Right? Of course. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see a little bit of whole wizard action here. See how he ends up placing these waking up the center point. I like it. And we see on the left, Pedro Tavares in inventor going through and modeling a very similar, you know, very similar footprint. Interesting that both the runners decided to do that footprint with kind of like a thinner, uh, dog bone shape instead of doing the thicker shape. Let's let's see how they end up handling that. I know that I saw Dom go back and thicken his, but what's Pedro? Mm -hmm. What's Pedro going to do on his side? Really interesting that they both decided to kind of start with that thinner shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dog bone is definitely the kind of the solid, flat, foundational feature. Um, yeah, yeah. A lot of times in engineering, that is what we start with. Like, how's it going to mount to the next part? That's what I'm going to draw first. But it's always, you know, it's always part of that design process is coming up with uh, uh, what is the starting plane, what is the starting profile. So it'll be be interesting to see uh, uh, if they, they both stick with it. Yep, they both did stick with it, though. They both ended up just creating that little bit of thicker geometry up top. So, uh, so I like it. Yeah. We see Dom looks like he's got that 
kind of flat geometry going around the bottom. Now he's got to figure out a way to continue <laughs> that radius. Yeah, I see you smiling. You've been been in this spot before, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what happens. I mean, you, you take a, a quick look at the drawing and and you, you have to kind of make a decision quick. And um, yeah, sometimes you gotta gotta go back and kind of improvise a little bit and a little bit different approach because of how you started off. Yep. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with how Dom's using keyboard shortcuts. I mean, he's he's selecting that geometry and then turning it into mirror geometry. Um, clearly he's using some kind of keyboard to, to activate that sketch mirror geometry. So uh, yeah. definitely a solid strategy. Yeah. Okay, and there we go. He's got that bottom section. Um, looks yeah. like, but it looks like Pedro has already got that bottom section done, and he's already moving ahead to that upper region. Uh, this mm -hmm. this section of the drawing I found to be a little bit difficult to dimension. I had to use some of my you know kind of Toby style of dimensioning because um, you know to, trying to figure out a good way to indicate the location of some of this geometry, the angled line, the center of that boss. Uh, not exactly. Not exactly the easiest challenge, uh, but we can see here that Dom is recognizing that the location is derived from that uh, that boss, something going on with that boss there. So here we see he's he's creating uh, what is essentially the center line of that circular boss and then using that to locate that, that angled shape. Yes. This type of geometry is always kind of tricky because it's like the customer just tells you to... You know, they, they kind of tell you to make it like just make an angled arm here that runs up into that donut shape, but you're not really sure how long that angled arm needs to be. And so mm -hmm. that can always uh, be an interesting conversation with the customer. Yeah, just, you know, just just angle it. Don't make it straight. <laughs> float it in space. Make it look. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just make it angled. Yeah. Aaron C. in the chat. Give it a shout out to the part said these parts are awesome today. Thank you, Aaron C. I appreciate it. Definitely a, a lot of influence from a lot of different sources, whether it's mechanical engineering books or looking at different posts online that other people have done and uh, kind of tweaking them a little bit. So we're all kind of helping each other in this community. Look at look at uh, Pedro on the left. He's already got that donut created already up there in space. Got almost all the geometry. Looks like it's a little, he's got to do a little bit of cleanup to get that lower region. But man, he really got that that put together quickly and look at that was that a delete face or how did he clean that up so quick yeah i don't know if he went into contours there i don't know if inventor has contour selection but it almost looks like he deselected that one top one wow 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 yeah yeah that was clean and i appreciate our amazing chat uh flexing a little bit saying got it got it but not putting in the answer uh they know what's up they're trying to give these guys a chance to shine and i i really appreciate that and so it looks like Inventor bringing up that uh, countersink tool, kind of like how we've got the whole wizard in SolidWorks. So clearly they have a lot, some kind of a library of, of uh, countersinks, counterbores. And boy, Dom really ran into a speed bump here when he got to that donut shape. He was, he was cruising all along there. And when he got to that donut shape, everything just kind of slowed down. So we'll mm -hmm. see if this opens the door for Pedro Tavares to lock up the first point in this challenge. Wow, wow, wow. You know, I just just thought of something looking at at Dom. You know, working on that axis and and working for that, looking at that donut shape. Um, and, and I might be wrong here. You can correct me, but I don't know that we see a lot of 3D sketches in this tournament. Have you seen that a lot? Oh, I'm going to interrupt you. Sorry, an answer came in from Pedro. Uh, he's coming in with seven thousand five hundred and thirty four grams, and that is correct. Oh, wow, good job. Pedro. Well really done. coming through there, clutch! Wow, wow, wow! And Dom coming in right behind him with an answer: eight thousand seven hundred sixty-two. Not correct. Uh, not correct. Looks like that donut is a little bit big on that anchor ring. But congratulations to Pedro. That was amazing, man. I looked away just for a second. I knew he was getting close there. I thought on the bottom he had those circular bosses as circles, but I think he went through and cleaned those up. And uh, wow, wow, wow! Game test in the chat says GG. Yes, I agree with game test. That is indeed GG. Wow. Yeah, you finished up that quick. That was very nice. Yes. Congratulations to Pedro locking that up. The first point of this match. You have to win two points in order to advance into the final eight. The Elite Eight. So Pedro is on his way now. And it's going to be up to Dom to come back. Dom showing some great sportsmanship in the chat. Says GG Pedro. And 
Lu- Luana in the chat, throwing out that Brazilian flag. Let's go. Let's go. We like it. We like it. Guys, let's give a GG to the winner.